everyone. So I just wanted to hop on here and share a little bit about my new hair routine. Um, I get a lot of questions about what I use on my hair and quite honestly, I'm always evolving my hair routine. You know, it's really not surprising for my hair routine to change from month to month, every couple of months. Um, but this routine is special because I finally tried Diva Curl products and I had been putting off trying these products because of the cost and it's really hard for me to want to pay that much money for um, anything hair related because I feel like I use a lot of product so having to repurchase is kind of a sacrifice but I was like you know what um, I'm not liking how my hair is turning out with my current routine um, let me try this out I started off with the Diva Curl styling cream and then I quickly was like oh my gosh I'm in love let me try other things moved on to the gel and now I'm also using the conditioner so um, yeah so I'll just walk you through what I do Okay, so that's the first step is to really get the product um, into your hair. As you'll see for both products, I use like one pump or serving um, for the back of my hair. So I'll make sure it works through, use another one for like this part, and then I usually flip over and use a little bit for that if I uh, find it necessary. If you want kind of a wash and go type of routine, you could definitely just do this and then let your hair dry. And I've actually liked that. When I do that with my hair, my hair ends up being very beach wavy. So just a little bit different, like a little bit flatter. Um, the curls are very Shakira-ish. They're not very like ringly. So, um, you know, if I want to give my hair a break, I'll do that. But um, for the most part, I like to dry my hair. So I know if you're trying not to use heat, that's totally fine. I would go with an air dry. But if you're okay with using um, very, very light heat, then I would recommend this. This is my hair dryer. I just use like, I think this is from Conair or Revlon. I lost the diffuser part, so I don't use it. If I did, I would use it. So if you have a diffuser, definitely do that. It's awesome. Um, you can really get like in there, into your roots. Mine has three settings, um, hot, warm, and cold. I use the warm setting um, first. That's what you'll see me do. And then after, um, I use the cold setting to set my hair. So I don't really need to use the hot. And I don't need to do it on the highest setting. I'm okay with the middle one.
gun and you just have to like start fixing your hair. Like the bottom of my hair is still not super dry, but that's okay. So now that you're done and you kind of got yourself a little bit situated, like my hair is huge right now, you can't even see my face, um, this is where I go in and just detail out my hair. So I use gel, um, cause I don't care what anybody says, the gel I use is great. And I really go in and just like, like this right here, that right there, I would fix. Um, and then I just slowly like go through. If you take the time, hair is gonna look great. Um, obviously you can figure out like where, what direction to take this in. So in order to show you guys like what detailing out my hair kind of means to me, um, I take my, sorry, I look, my nose crazy. I take my gel, I use Labella, um, lots of curls, but I actually like, there's a green one that I like better um, and it has aloe in it. So you just take a little bit, it's like small, you'll know when you're doing your hair and you start detailing out your hair. So like, take my gel and put a little bit of my hand and detail out each curl that I find slightly frizzy or imperfect then I'm done um, and you can do it as much or as little as you like I like my hair to be a little big so I only do it where I feel it's necessary I'm kind of a perfectionist so <sighs> you know just working on myself um, so yeah so these are the three products that I use right now, styling cream, the um, Labella gel, and then the Diva Curl light defining gel. There's like three gels. Um, I wanted the light defining one because I just didn't like need it to be crunchy or anything. So yes, thank you so much for tuning in. If you have any questions, please let me know. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed putting it together for you. And I really look forward to sharing more tips and tricks and curly fun stuff. Bye.